the Ace family is blowing up again, guys. Hey, Ace family. This time, they're getting divorced, and you know what? I say, that sounds good to me. And also, I hope the kids know it was their fault. <laughs> Just kidding. I looked up Ace family, and there were zero results. It was Fuck. all a dream. Not a huge fan of family channels, even though when I start a family, I will absolutely exploit the shit out of that, because that's just what I do. Hey, Frankie, you might not Walking around in the background of the video? By the way, what, what does Ace even mean? Ace family? That's not, no one's named Ace. It's Austin McBroom, Catherine McBroom, and they have a child named Ellie, but also two other children. Even the naming scheme of their channel highlights their lack of foresight and how little they think about the future and how poorly rational they are. Or I guess I could just say irrational. Low key, I'm obsessed with myself even more now. <laughs> they're getting divorced, by the way, which is awesome. I love it when they're, whenever there's a heavily publicized divorce and I can jump on a bandwagon of just hating someone. People want to put my baby in the microwave. Their newest kid is a little guy named Steel. His middle name is Boy, they named him Steel Boy. Side note, I think that celebrities have the worst names for their children ever. I think that kids should just purely be named biblical names or just like, you know, like name your child like a Chinese name or something like that. I wonder how many white people name their children Chinese names. Not the point. I'm not trying to dunk on a child. I'm trying to make fun of two absolute goobers for being super public with their relationship and family and now getting a divorce and facing the consequences or faking a divorce because that also seems like it might be what they're doing, which is fucking insane that this is the real life. Now, normally a divorce is not grounds to make a video on unless it gets real ugly like Johnny Depp and Amber Heard's divorce. Um was human fecal matter. Generally, divorces are devastating affairs for everyone involved, especially the kids, even if it was their fault. And what makes this case unique is that this is the divorce of a family vlogging channel. People who are obsessed with filming themselves at all hours of the day. Welcome back to our channel, guys. What's going on, everybody? Documenting their children's lives, their own lives, and just putting it online. We're gonna surprise daddy with the cake. Okay, you want some cake? Yeah. Some strawberries? Yeah, okay, Lele, what about you? So we get to see how they're processing divorce nearly in real time, which is titillating. And also, by the way, it's getting crazy out there, fellas. I know I first started getting a little suspicious of the relationship status between Austin and Catherine when I looked at their channel and I saw, hmm, they haven't posted in seven months. You guys keep asking us when are we making the next video? And to be honest, we weren't planning on coming back so soon and making a video today, but we really miss you guys. They can't even film for their 18 million loyal fans. No! Two weeks ago, they announced on their Instagram pages that they were going to end their marriage. All right, that's awesome. As I start this new year, I will challenge myself in ways I've never done before. 2024 will be my year of transformative change. And with this taking plus, ah, uh, one of the steps in my journey is a difficult decision to leave my marriage and abandon my children because it is their fault. It's so stupid. This is Catherine's post. By the way, this is the wife's post. She she didn't say about abandoning her children or anything like that. She just wanted to leave her marriage. She did say that her main priority was to stay united as parents and continue in creating a stable, happy, and loving situation for their children, which is, that's great. But I feel like having a family channel is not that. So maybe that's why they're splitting it up. Maybe they, maybe they genuinely do care about their kids and the whole family channel thing has gotten the best of them. Austin, on the other hand, didn't post a twit longer. He posted a photo of them looking really dumb with a big long caption. For this new year, I've been taking a leap of faith. I've made the hardest decision of my life, the decision to close the book to my marriage. He goes on to say that it ain't easy. Baha, baha, ba, or boohoo, boohoo, whatever. Ooh, eh, ooh, ooh, eh, ooh, 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 eh. They coordinated this post, just in case you weren't aware, because they are a unit. One of them posted on Instagram, the other one posted on Instagram at the same exact time. They shared similar sentiments. It's very PR feeling. It's very deliberate. It's very on purpose. New year, new me. Just not with that bitch ex-wife of mine. In the second paragraph, they both say that the decision was mutual, but Catherine's is a bit juicier because she says they've been facing irreconcilable challenges as a couple, which I don't know what that means. We'll find out. I'm sure we'll find out, right, guys? We'll find out, right? What is what is an irreconcilable challenge that could face a marriage? Also, do, do I should I shave the mustache? This thing is fucking thick. I look like a guy involved in porn in some way. 
All right, from the 70s. Not really now. Those guys look like they really just listen to the Guts OST on repeat, which I do that as well, but uh, I don't feel like I look like I do. And there's nothing against the Guts OST. That shit is fucking hard. And Limp Biz Kit. It's all about the he said, she said bullshit. They both use the third paragraph in their mutual announcement that they're going to be committed to being the best parents possible to their children, which that's implied, bro. When you have a kid, it becomes your number one responsibility, regardless of your situation, whether or not you're on the, the Genghis Khan path like Andrew Tate or you're on you're just a guy you know part of an atomic family and you got a job at Intel and your name is Dell and you work in sales and your wife's name is Delilah and she works at from home she engraves Stanley cups for a living but hasn't been doing so well with all the heavy metal <laughs> exposure their child steel has 800,000 followers on Instagram he's more relevant than me and he's three bro he's more relevant on famous birthdays than me and he's three years old. He can stand on his own two feet. He can support himself. Things might not seem as amicable or as hunky-dory as they would try to make it seem in their PR posts. If you look at the comments, people are very upset. How can he be her best friend after he lied and cheated? It's probably not the best to say this, but it's about damn time. Happy for you. You deserve loyalty. <laughs> hey, now, would you stop? You're too good for that cornball. He got weird energy. <laughs> That's funny as fuck. Comment sections for both of them are going crazy, though. Very critical of Austin under Catherine's post. Under Austin's post, also very critical of Austin. <laughs> AKA, you can't keep it in your pants, and your childish ass believes the streets have more to offer. This is the longest I cheated and fucked up post I've ever seen. I'm taking a leap of faith. Bruh, leaving your wife and kids just to sleep with every single woman is not taking a leap of faith. Hey. Quit lying. You failed as a husband and as a man. You played yourself. Real men don't cheat and play games, especially with a family. A hundred percent. I agree. Uh, uh, uh. The general consensus believes that Austin cheated on Catherine, and that is the reason for the divorce. It's something we've seen a lot, especially among celebrities, especially among handsome, young, rich men. It's kind of a thing they all do. Now, these allegations of cheating are not new, by the way. They go all the way back as far as 2021, probably further, but this is the main sort of time frame when things kind of snowballed a little bit. This was at the time of YouTubers boxing TikTokers. There was an event organized by Austin of the Ace family where he boxed Bryce Hall on the day of the event, friend of Bryce Hall, Tana Mongolo, Mongoose, 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 posted on Twitter talking about the time that she took credit for another woman's lipstick in Austin's car, despite knowing that it wasn't hers. Interesting thing to take credit for, I have to say. One time, Austin McRoom was cheating on Catherine with a random mitt, and he left limping in his car. And then I was sitting with Jake in the car, and he gets a FaceTime. It's from Austin crying, and Catherine yelling, is this Tana lipstick? Austin says it is. It wasn't. Real men don't cry. <laughs> Real men cheat. I'm just kidding. It's the other way around. But I lied for the sake of the children and said it was SMH. Happy fight day, Team Bryce on God. Wow, that's hard. And of course, Austin responded denying the allegations, saying it was actually Erica Costell's lipstick. Cap to the biggest clout chaser of them all, and it was actually Erica Costell's lipstick, dummy. I was taking Jake and her back to Jake's house. This lame ass lie ain't gonna save the attention that your little BF Bryce is about to get for his ass whooping. Austin did whoop, him, whoop his ass. TKO third round. It was pretty awesome. But now Bryce Hall kind of come back. He looks, he's pretty, he's honestly a pretty good fighter. His bare knuckle shit's impressive. Now we don't know how true any of this shit is because all these people are fake and lame and honestly abhorrent and just gum on the shoe of society. And I think that there should be a healthy amount of skepticism since the timing of the allegation is awfully close to the timing of an event. And that's just kind of how stuff works. You get people to tune in, et cetera. Like it wouldn't even be that bad for Austin for this to come out. You know, to get more pay-per-view buys, it's worth it. Money's worth it always for these people. But now people are speculating and connecting that to the current divorce and it, it it sort of makes sense. Potentially. There are a lot of articles, comments, we showed them. It's the general consensus. He cheat on wife, the end. That's the end of ways. But we have the divorce aftermath, which is incredibly important to dive into. Alas, I shall. So now both of them are posting on Snapchat. By the way, incredibly cringe. Who's gone through a divorce or ended a long-term relationship here? When you stop feeling offended when people ask you out or show you interest? She's trying to get under his skin for sure. Austin's posts have been fucking insane and I'm all here for it, dude. Slightly, you know, manic. Little bit, little bit on the wild side. What are you doing? I'm just doing it. I'm trying to show people that it's up and down. Are you 
You're, you're coming over now? Okay, you're getting in my lap? All right. I would call his post schizo, but I recently learned that for people who suffer from schizoaffective disorder, that is not a cool thing to say. And I respect that because having a real true mental disorder, I should not conflate that with this fucking idiot. He hasn't been feeling very well. He recorded a Snapchat video asking if he had the C word. I think he means COVID or the, the coronavirus, I'm not exactly sure. I got chills and fever, I've been sweating from head to toe. What should I do, y'all? Hopefully I don't have the C word. Then he says that wearing Catherine's cheetah print hat is making him feel better. I don't know if this is ironic or a joke or what. Don't mind this, don't, don't laugh at me. This, this auntie thing looking crazy, but for some reason it's making me feel better. This is Catherine's shit. It seems like everything he's doing is incredibly embellished and or staged to get people to feel bad for him. I don't know what's going on. I also don't even know if it's a joke or not because he's like side eyeing the camera. He's, he's out here roughing it. This all feels like a fucking bit, dude. It feels fake. It's funny. Like this is actually funny. Can't sleep, crying, sad. Wife left me, cheated on wife crying sad now we get to the part where i have no idea what the plan is for poor austin this is where he becomes a sympathetic character his cries for help are working on me where is he gonna live guys he and Catherine are getting divorced so they're not gonna be living in the same house obviously that would be weird and cringe even though they're going to be co-parenting the children austin has an RV to live in though, like a true divorced dad. And he parked it outside of Catherine's house. I was able to get this new motorhome, and so I'll be living here, temporary. There, right here. Pretty slick RV as well, it's not a bad one, it's a good one. He parked it outside Catherine's house to be close to his kids, but he apparently is not allowed to do that. And like, this just seems fake, right? Neighborhood, like this is so dumb. Violation, this vehicle is parked illegally. Neighborhood watch. Woke up this morning. For a damn ticket. I can take it literally at 7 13. They left this fucking ticket on my windshield. He's doing comedy. This has to be a bit. This is a bit. It's fake. Their divorce is fake. It's not real, right? It's not real. Comments on TikTok, which are very reliable, seem to believe that Catherine called the cops on him and stuff because you can't park a vehicle. You can't park a vehicle in the street for 72 hours, even though he's he still owns the home, I'm sure, unless Catherine is just in her name. I don't really understand how any of that stuff works. It seems fake. And also his RV apparently didn't have working heat, so he's just freezing cold at night. Because as you guys know, I just got this RV and the heater stopped working. I've been living in there for only a few nights and I've been freezing my ass off. Like, my nipples are like candy corns. He's lucky enough to have good friends. He gets to crash with the rapper who's dating Halle Bailey, the girl who played Ariel in the live-action Mermaid. What a fucking score! Guy's name's DDG or some shit, I don't know. I assume that's not his real name. Baby, tell me what's the move. He of course had to post it on Snapchat him showing up at DDG's house because every waking moment of his life is shared online. Good, yeah, brody. Yeah, man. Hey, you got my bag for me, bro? Got a bunch of shit. And he makes himself way too at home inside DDG's house. He's set up in like a sneaker closet and starts putting on shoes, which is awesome. What are these? These are massive. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna put these boys on. Dude, what a fucking weirdo. What is he doing, bro? Then there's an egregious, terrible situation in which Austin is making food and playing music while DDG's baby's trying to sleep. And then he asks him to stop, so he stops. And then as soon as he leaves, he turns it back on. Guys, it's crazy. It's so faked and staged and lame and cringe. Hey, go, go. Turn it all the way down. For example, in Didi's perspective, he says, Google, turn it all the way down. But in Austin's perspective, he says, pause it. Hey, go, go. Pause it. It's not adding up, guys. It looks like it's all big fucking fugazi. From Didi's perspective, Austin says, my bad, and Didi responds with, yeah, the baby's sleep. Yeah, the baby's sleep, bro. Versus in Austin's perspective, DDG says, try to keep it a little quiet because the baby's sleeping. So they did it twice. They did two takes. What the fuck, dude? Try to keep it a little quiet because the baby's sleeping. It's, cool. it's faked. It's staged. It's scripted. It's dumb. It's lame. We all, these people are horrible. If it is real, it makes sense that DDG or whatever his name is doesn't want some guy who's staying in his house playing music and being sad and crying everywhere. That'd be horrible. <laughs> Oh, 
DDG and Austin made a song together about the divorce, how Austin misses Catherine. He's just fucking moping around, which is so funny and stupid. Dayton, it's been a month. So dumb. He's just moping around, walking in the background. That's actually funny. It's got to be fake. I mean, it's so clearly fake. They fucking allegedly faked their house getting robbed once, which was awesome. There's a lot of videos on that if you guys want to watch. Some pretty awesome evidence there. Camera is connected to my phone. There's cameras in every single room, guys. Uh -huh. Every single room, there's a camera, yeah. so... Mm -hmm. So don't try no funny stuff. That video right there basically already debunked their home robbery. They didn't even bother to show their fans the footage of the robbery, and we didn't see them tell the cops about it. There's just a bunch of weird shit going on on Snapchat with Austin that leads me to believe that this is fake. Catherine's stuff seems kind of more realistic, maybe a little bit more, it makes more sense. Austin seems like he's playing it up to 10 to either get sympathy or to make it seem like a joke or because it's staged and he wants it to see. I don't know if he's milking it. I don't know what's going on. I really don't know if the divorce is real. What do you guys think? Do you guys think it's real? Do you think it's real? I feel like it's not real at all. It seems fake. It seems stupid. The way that this man behaves in public or when other people are around, the way he treats his friend, DDG, it seems unreal. If it's not real, then of course they would get a divorce. Who the fuck would want to be with Fousey of Snapchat? Oh, by the way, did you know he's going back to school like Billy Madison. Austin McBroom is going back to school. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. He's so stupid. He's crying on his phone because he's at UCLA trying to find his classroom. I have my plants right here, but I can't find my class. I'm, I'm here for my master's. So I'm like really smart and like I just need to get these classes done so I can get my PhD. It's for my psychology class for Mr. Peters. You're undergrad? So you're under me? Is that what that mean? What does that mean? Was undergrad. I'm sorry. He's got a nice fit though. His fit, he's rocking it. He's rocking his new baby fit, his new back to school baby fit. Louis Vuitton. Here he is going to, into a school, a 40 year old man going to school. New level of unemployment. <laughs> That's so fucking funny, dude. Since his time at UCLA, though, he's already met a French girl. So maybe the sparks will fly. Maybe he, he met his perfect college girl. <laughs> tell, tell him where you're from. I come from France, from and I'm France. going to class. Yes. Yeah. Je m'appelle... Austin. Austin and... and... I mean, while he's in his mid-50s or however old he is, I have no idea. It doesn't really matter. One thing is for sure, his wife changed her, her name on Instagram back to Catherine Pays or Pies or whatever her original maiden name was. She means business. She's just showing off what Austin's missing out on. I don't understand what any of this is. This person was really rude. Some leg cellulite, but keep at it. It's so funny whenever you post like a physique photo or, or any kind of anything in regard to intelligence, height, a skill, whatever it is someone will find a way to be like, yeah, I'm better than you, but keep going. I don't have as much as I did in that throwback video. I think people forget I give her three humans, but thank you. Yeah, she looks great. I mean, I don't, this, yeah. So the Ace family might be a thing of the past. Now we have estranged father, orphans, and mama, mother, Catherine, and stuff. Austin's going to college. Catherine is going to Mexico. I fucking hate this. By the way, I believe they're faking this 100%. This is lame. What their end goal is, I have no idea. I assume views, I don't know. They probably haven't even been together for years.